Shortness of breath is a common medical problem. It affects one in 10 adults, commonly due to heart or lung issues, which sometimes represent a diagnostic challenge. A common strategy is to do an exercise stress test, which evaluates the heart blood flow and also heart rhythm and heart rate while you're exercising. Quite often, however, patients and doctors are left out without an answer because the stress test is normal. There's a special type of test called a cardiopulmonary exercise stress test. It's a more complete evaluation. It involves the same components of a stress test, but in addition to that, it measures the transportation of oxygen into your tissues and also the amount of carbon dioxide that the patients breathe out. A cardiopulmonary exercise test may be performed either with a treadmill or with a stationary bike. There are no options for medication-induced cardiopulmonary exercise stress tests. Here at Holy Cross for Lauderdale, we use a stationary bike in order to make it easier for our patients with hip issues or knee problems, and it also gives us a better signal for electrocardiogram. Selected parameters we measure during a cardiopulmonary stress test are number one, an electrocardiogram to measure your heart rate, heart rhythm, and markers of blood flow to the heart muscle. We use, also use a mouthpiece to measure the amount of oxygen that you breathe in and carbon dioxide that you breathe out. We also use an oxygen pulse oximeter in one of your fingers and a blood pressure cuff in one of your arms. You will be asked to pedal for five to 12 minutes under the supervision of a physician. So if anything goes wrong during that test, you will get immediate assistance. The possibility of unwanted side effects or complications is really low. In around one to 1,000 cases, there may be complications like fainting, blood pressure issues, or heart rate or heart rhythm problems. A cardiopulmonary exercise stress test classifies your heart and lung function under a controlled environment. Based on this data, we can then assess the level of care that you require and the risk that you have for yourself. Here at Holy Cross for Lauderdale, we have an outstanding cardiopulmonary rehab program in which we can gauge how much the patient should be doing in terms of physical activity to give you confidence. We also have the availability of physicians, both lung specialists and heart specialists, to really adjust the exercise prescription and to really adjust how much physical activity should the patient be doing. So a cardiopulmonary exercise stress test is not a perfect tool. It has its limitations. So there are ladders of when should you do it, and it means getting blood work first, getting a physical examination and a history by a physician first. There are times in which a cardiopulmonary exercise stress test may not give us an answer. So please speak with your doctor to see if there's an indication and a benefit for you to get this test. <music>